Hello everyone, Denise Carpenter from ReikiAssociates.com here and today we're going to continue on with the next video uh, in the discussion of this year of 2023 being the year of compassion and kindness. Now last week we talked about inward compassion and what that might look like and discussed a couple of tools that we could use to help ourselves achieve that and today we're going to talk about outward compassion which leads us directly to the Reiki principles. Now remember, I'm a Reiki master and that's my training and my frame of reference. So as we work our way through the Reiki principles, when you take your level one training, one of the things we look at is the principle number three, and that is all about gratitude and honor. And it's also about the energy of engagement and about mirroring. So when we Think about outward compassion. Last week we talked about kind of our inner world and how to bring compassion, self-compassion and what that might look like. This week we're going to talk about our outer world. So I would say anything that's happening outside of your own personal energy system, we'll call that our outer world, our, our, <laughs> our outer world uh, just so that we're all working with the the same paradigm. And in our Yusui Reiki principle number three, we talk about the energy of engagement. And that is all about what you give out is what you get back. Um, in homeopathy, it's discussed as like attracts like. Um, in Christianity, it's called the the golden rule, um, do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. So everywhere you look is this idea of what you're manifesting inwardly is what you're projecting outwardly. And then that is what comes back to you. And it all kind of happens in this infinity loop. So let's say you're here and you're in the frequency of let's, let's go with joy at 600 hertz. That's what you're channeling out or what you're emanating. Everybody or anything that's outside of your energy system is going to pick up that frequency and automatically that's what they're going to channel back to you. So let's move on to the idea of mirroring. So the idea of mirroring says that anything that's outside of your energy system that is triggering you in some way, so it's causing you to feel anxiety or anger or whatever it may be, uh, frustration, um, could be joy, could be bliss, could be gratitude, is actually mirroring back to you an energy or a frequency or a feeling that is for you to work your way through. So the, the saying is, is life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. So life out there is happening to show us, help us, identify parts of ourself that are not vibrating or, or, or are in the frequency or in the state that we would like them to be in. So ultimately, if we could work ourselves to the energy of compassion, and I would like to add gratitude, love, um, harmony, those are all 500 hertz and above. So if we can bring ourselves to that state, we can actually be in this 3D experience but rather than experiencing it from the lower frequencies of frustration, anger, hurt, whatever that may be, um, we can actually experience, experience it through the frequencies of joy, bliss, harmony, gratitude. So it becomes our choice. Now, it's not quite as, as um, simple as it seems, and yet it is as simple as it seems. So as the outer world is reflecting back to us, our lower frequency, it then becomes our work. The work of it is to kind of go inside and either through meditation, walking, eyes open, eyes closed, um, work with the therapist, come in and have Reiki sessions, go for reflexology, whatever, whatever speaks to you to help you move through that frequency. It usually comes back to patternings that we've picked up um, or that were programmed into us either through genetics, through our family of origin, through schools, through community groups, through our society, through our country, or just a, a global 
um, way of looking at things or processing things. So it could be through patternings, um, but it also could be through events. Um, go, go in and sit with your inner child. So if something in the outer world triggers you, one of the first questions to ask is, how old am I right now? When you feel that you're being triggered and then go in and work with that aspect of your inner child. And the only work we really need to do with that child is to love it, 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 love it. Sometimes it will have something to say. Sometimes it won't. It usually just needs to be heard and be loved. Now it's a bit oversimplified. And again, if you think you need help, seek out proper help to do this work. But it's it's amazing how our inner world will start to flow more for our highest good as we work with the outer world in a different way. So I hope you found this helpful. It's a little bit oversimplified. There's lots and lots of information out there for you to work on. But the basic idea is it's called the energy of engagement and mirroring. So what you give out is what you get back. Oh, and I would say if what you feel coming in is of a lower frequency, then, then dig into that, dig into that. And then our work becomes how do we, before we respond, how do we bring that frequency that we feel we're receiving up to, let's say we can even just do joy or acceptance, which would be around 300 to 400 hertz. And if we can send that back out, that's what's going to come back to us. So energy of engagement and mirroring. Everything that's happening in the outer world is actually there to help us work with those pieces of ourselves that are maybe um, at those lower frequencies. Mirroring, energy of expectation. And just remember to love, 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 love yourself. And love, 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 love to the best you can. And if you can't, the outer world, then ask for help. I just ask for your guides, divine help, um, uh, whatever your belief system is, use those tools to ask for help. And if it's beyond you, let it be beyond you. That's okay. And then ask for help to bring a higher frequency to that outer world. So compassion for self, for the outer world, for events that happen, everything that crosses our path. Make it a conscious choice. Play with it. You cannot harm yourself. You cannot harm another. Um, all you can really do is heal yourself and grow and again start to create your heaven on earth. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like notifications of new videos that are coming up, please tap on the bell. We'll see you next week. Namaste.